Hi everybody and welcome back to Pyre with Curly and Jan. I am Jan and playing the game is Curly. Hey little bear. I'm Curly. And, and we're heading to... I'm not going to say it because last time I was wrong. Yeah. What is possibly the last liberation, right? No. Well, It yeah. won't be. We're still going to have to deal with fighting off um, what's his bucket hot guy. Uh, Orlek. Orlek. Um, so yeah, mm. currently we're about to uh, give Tamitha... We, some uh, some extra points because she's the next one we're hoping to send home. We're going up against the Fate, which means we'll probably win. Because um, as much as I love them, they, they can't win for shit. Yeah. Later that afternoon, you accompany Pamitha through the quiet solitude of Temple High Road to the monument of Luce Glorian. What'll you do when all of this is over, Pamitha? You're going to run away. Let's face it. You're probably not getting out of here. So... Then, you can either go live out your days under some rock somewhere, or maybe these who call you their friend, maybe they mean it. You return to the wagon after she has finished paying her respects. The summit awaits, but first, there is time to continue practicing your vocations. We are... Plus two presents. We're your friends, Perk. We're your friends... All right, but so, I'm not going to invite you to eat these Oreos with me. I'm eating Oreos. Well, I have cookies. Yeah, Curly yeah. brought cookies. I brought Oreos. We're having a good time. Also, I have a nice rum and 7-Up. Mmm. Well. It's really good. It's really good rum. Probably. Well, you said you were getting a drink. Not that you were getting a drink. Well, I went I went downstairs and my dad had, oh, made himself one. And there was like half a seven up, and like the bottle just sitting there on the counter. I was like, eh, like, can, I have one? can I have some? Sure. So I made myself some. Now I'm feeling all old fashioned with my milk and cookies. Hmm. This sorry. afternoon, you feel especially drawn to the Book of Rites and find a place to look upon its words. Through greater understanding comes the reader's influence. Well, plus some present. The texture of the pages of the book, the foreign bindings. Despite the volume's age, it shows so little sign of wear. At times, the power emanating from it almost overwhelms you. Inspiration comes to you in a flash, whether from the book or from within, you cannot tell. Tenacity. Tenacity. Finish studying. Nice, with so much presence. All right, uh, nothing in there. So I guess continue our journey. Oh my god. I wonder where we can go. Um, oh my god. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> Here in the narrow passageways of Mount Elodiel, you encounter a messenger and come to deliver news and rumors from the other side. <gasps> our boy. Oh, our boy. The news this time pertains to Hedwin, whom you liberated at the fall of Solium. You learn Hedwin returned safely to the Commonwealth, where he was clothed and welcome. His past transgressions all forgiven. He was groomed for a leadership position. Uh, he was to be groomed for a leadership position of his choice, whether on the council or the blood border, each equally as lucrative and secretive as well. Okay. Having them then seized upon it. Yeah. However, he refused, and before the stunned council members could do anything about it, he left them. Fucking walked away. He since made contact with Wolfred's agents and is working together with them, thus the ranks of the revolution grow stronger. Per the messenger imp custom, the last part of the message was was transcribed from Hedwin, word for word, and says, Keep going. I'll see you there. Please, please do it. Please, no, no, keep, keep, go uh, said, keep, keep going. going. I'll see you here. I'll see you there. Or I'll see you here. Yeah, when I see you in clean new clothes, will you hold up the mirror showing me the path I chose? Sorry. That song is just too perfect. I can't get over it. You thank the messenger imp for relaying this information. Soon your companions are all abuzz about it. A glorious example Hedwin sets for all of us. <laughs> She's a 
happy to be your headwind as well back in the Commonwealth. That's not, I'm not even going to try to do Catbug's <laughs> voice because I can't do it, but I will make headwind as, I mean, fucking. Tizo. Tizo is goddamn cute as I can. I always thought headwind was looking for someone out there back home. Do you think he found her? Wonder if he'll ever find the one he fell for. Oh, may that boy's spirit infect the lot of ye with a plague. Thank you. Well, well done, Hedwin, my boy. I knew you could do it. Me too. Yay. The news of Hedwin's liberation fills you and your fellow exiles with newfound resolve. Oh my god, we have ah oh, so much. Wish him luck, boy. Now we get to watch a little lover's quarrel. Gotta love these. You are returned once more to Scribe's Gate, where the Gate Guardian awaits under a dim sky. The exiles of the Nightwings. And you, Tariq. This is to be one of our final meetings. My dog is attacking the cat dishes. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> that's, that's Callie. She doesn't like to eat her food anymore. She's gotten into the habit of waiting until the cats are done eating. And then in the middle of the night, two, three in the morning, you'll hear like a bunch of shit rattling because she's deaf and blind. And she goes in there and she just eats what's remaining on the cat's plates. Come to think of it, that's probably why there's something wrong with her lately. Because the cat's plates get end up getting infected with ants. She's probably eaten a bunch of red ants. That poor dog. She pro She's going to the doctor on Monday. So at least that's good. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, sorry. Callie's in the background just being naughty. Greetings, Celeste. The Nightwings are prepared, and afterwards, I would have words with you in private, if you please. Ooh. It seems to me rather late for words now, Tariq. But I shall hear them once your charges cross the gate. Now, all of you, come forth. Please state your names and what it is that you seek whilst crossing Scribe's Gate. Once more, your companions cross the gate, one after another, and once more, you follow them in turn. Celeste regards you all, then waves you through toward the summit. The eight scribes bid the night wings welcome. Go forth with glory. And Tariq? Aye, Celeste? You may rejoin the others in a while. For now... I would hear those words of yours. Certainly, Celeste. Everyone, I shall see you shortly. Damn, boy. I want to know. Can we just, like, peep through the wall? <laughs> They're already singing before the battle's even started. Sorry. Sorry, I'm, I'm loving this, though. I love the idea of the two of them, I would like to have words with you. Just immediately start singing. God damn duets. Um, if you'd like, we can go check out Slugmark. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, right, he's usually cold up here. Uh, oh, hey, guys. It's gotten real c cold again up here here but it's worth it let me tell you <laughs> got a lot of customers been stopping by <laughs> okay i've been maybe been exaggerating just a little since i've been waiting here <laughs> a little while i guess but you, you you buy anything god damn you're obnoxious yes buy something i don't know don't uh some presents. I have no idea. We don't really have anything we want to buy. Sorry we had to interrupt that beautiful duet, but... It was still kind of in the background. Oh yeah, I know. But you got me fucking, like, stutter-assing over it. Yeah, that's okay. Bum, 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 do, do we buy something bum, like that? Bum. Do we have an Ashton Cole? I don't know. Could I... I guess you can't really do that. I want to see if, like, you could test it. There's so much money. I think we should actually buy something you say so much money but last time we wanted something we couldn't buy it because we didn't have enough 
Yeah, I even know. See, like stuff like this. I don't remember which thing it was because they're all pretty. I would say the pretty thing, but I, I can't tell. This thing. Mm, mm -mm. So what we should have done is bought like something like this at the beginning, that is like after banishment an adversary, banishing an adversary, the bearer gains plus one gold. So every time we'd just like to get like money at the beginning when no one had anything. But whatever. that would have been smart. Who cares? Well, if we replay it, we'll make a good choice. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe I should pack it up for the day. Hmm. I'm sorry, feel, dude. Feel bad for him. I feel like his only friends. Mm. I feel like you could make more money if you hung around around like hung out around a place like Big Bird Truths where people actually go in the downside. Yeah, or maybe not. Or maybe follow the, one of the other teams around. I don't know. Okay, maybe dude, follow is... anyone, not us. Oh my god, are we going in? Oh yeah. Nothing really. Oh mm, my god. Okay. The time has come again to deliver one of your fellow exiles to a homecoming in the Commonwealth, lest your adversaries, the fate, achieve the same instead. The lone minstrel has returned and approaches you as you await the signal from the stars. Have a nice duet. Mm -hmm. oh. There is something that I wish to ask you, reader. Something which ordinarily would not be my place to discuss in any detail. Yes, I'm gay. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm extremely single. No, you're not. Mm. What Reader I... Sona is. Reader Sona. I am extremely taken. <laughs> That's his name. Like, he doesn't have a name. His name is Reader Sona. Okay. How convenient I'm a reader. My name is Reader Sona. Um... Mm, you have observed the stars. If you would not mind my asking you in such a direct manner, how many liberation rites are you supposing yet remain? Um. Dear God, that's scary. I like, I like, <sighs> like, is this the very last? Like, unsure. Nah, I don't know. Or, man, this like, I was like, I feel like this is the one. Mm, me too. You have not spared it any thought. I'm just going forward, considering, like, okay. Well, considering what he told you last time you talked to him was just about, like, following your path step by step rather than looking toward the future, I feel mm -hmm. like that might not have been a good answer, but it's a logical answer. You tell him the only logical deduction which you have been able to make based on all your readings of the stars of late that there shall be one final liberation rite after tonight. I concur with your evaluation, reader, sir. God, don't do the glowy eyes thing at me. It creeps me out when you do that to anyone but Celeste. Oh, I didn't even look, make, see you look up. Oh, he did the, he did the... God, he's so cool, but he creeps me out. I kind of just want to, like, sit next to him. Like, at a bus stop or something. Something totally normal yet creepy. He'd be, anyway. He'd huh. have his mandolin out and be like, anyways, here's Wonderwall. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking anyways, here's Wonderwall. Curly says that to me every time he touches a guitar, and it drives me nuts because he never starts playing Wonderwall. Because I don't actually know how to play Wonderwall. I know, but then why every time you touch the guitar do you go, anyways, here's Wonderwall. I don't. I, I and then you just put the guitar down. That's not how you play Wonderwall. I don't even have my guitar anymore. You don't? No, I give it to my cousin. Aw. Yeah. Is your cousin actually going to use it? Yeah, he, he actually started using it. Okay, well then it was a worthy sacrifice. Alright, now to the game! I wished to make certain that you were aware. So that you and the Nightwings may yet make the most of your remaining time together thus. I mean... Oh my god. As to what shall happen once the final liberation ride is ended, we soon shall both find out. But, lo, it seems that we are called upon once more. Look forth. We're about to have the angry guy uh -huh. yell at us again. And tell us yeah, how shitty it. we are. Yay, look at all these things that we're never gonna touch. I know, right? I might have to do it for like 
achievement reasons, but... Later. Not yeah. right now. I will eat your face in a non-sexy manner. In a, like, a Floridian manner. Oh, dude, that's right, I am Floridian. What, before you threw me out? It comes from within, bitch. The pyres burn, and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. I concur. The pyres burn, and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. Then, anointed one of the fate, come forth now and declare yourself, and pay any respects you have unto your adversaries, the Nightwings. Aw, oh, the bent old cur, Dalbert, steps forward and struggles for a moment with his mask. Hmm. Greetings, good, good heralds. I am Dalbert Oldheart. It is the greatest honor of my years to stand upon the sacred site, upon which the eight scribes first anointed these glorious proceedings. Nightwings. We are honored to be in your presence once more. Father, they are our adversaries, not our hosts. We need not be so gentle with them. They shall do their utmost to keep you from your freedom. Actually, he's the only one I've thought about giving his freedom to. Dalbert, your son speaks out of turn. Control him. My sincerest apologies for his unnecessary outburst. Almer, please. We have worked towards this opportunity, and we make most of it. He puts his mask back on. I feel bad to have to destroy you. My son and I stand ready to begin. I almost think the game wants us to let him go. Nightwings, your choice. In whose name shall you conduct this liberation rite? I wish you the wisdom of the scribes in making your choice, reader. And I wish you to come prepare our song with me, Tariq. <laughs> Damn, bitch. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, okay. It's either Pamatha. Oh, it's only Pamatha. Ba well, technically Pamatha, Tizo, or Faye. Mm -mm, no, remember, it doesn't make any sense to send Faye back because yeah. she doesn't have anything there. Plus Tizo. Yeah, know the only two people I would even care to send back are, are Pamatha and, and Sir, Gilman. Sir Gilman, who I wanted to call Squilliam for some reason, and that's not his name. <laughs> that is not his name, but I'm going to say right now we are going to end this episode here. Oh my god, okay. And then we will have the liberation right in the next one. All right. Bye, everybody. See you soon. Bye.